Hey y'all, this is Ascension Empress with your Divine Feminine Reading. We're going to look and see what the bonus messages are for the week ahead and just the rest of this month. Okay, so I pray that everybody's doing well. Mm, here, as soon as I say everybody, there you go with the six star no energy. Somebody is bothered. Look, yes, and at the bottom of the deck, because you're choosing the star energy, you may even be um, receiving attention, have a platform. This is Aquarius energy as well. So that's been very strong, you know. So I feel like that full moon that we recently had in Aquarius, along with the Saturn energy, is really influencing the collective okay so whether people have um aquarius pla placements in their charts or not there's a lot going on here when it comes to associations groups um people's visions and choosing to to pour into themselves all right so let's go ahead and see divine feminine what in the world is going on with this nine of wands all right Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what messages do you have for Divine Feminine Collective? You know. <laughs> you know, right? High Priestess Energy is not wasting any time. And I feel like that's why somebody may be feeling bothered, irritated, um, feeling like this is a missed opportunity because... Not only have you distanced yourself, you didn't got quiet, you didn't got discreet, or you just very intuitive. Like you see, right? Somebody doesn't like that you um, can see right through them, or you can see their ways or excuses. Okay, because with the nine of wands, it can mean so much. All right, let's see. What do you want? What do you want, divine feminine collector, to be aware of when it comes to this high priestess energy? Look at that. Yeah, you can see right through someone. Right. This is everything coming to light. This is wow something somebody may be in this energy because they feel like you might expose them they don't want to be exposed or you could even be a reader like you could yeah because i didn't realize until maybe even a year or so ago that there's like some people they don't they don't have any negative they don't mean any harm when they say like oh you're a reader like but some people like are really nervous of what someone who is very intuitive might be able to see, right? But it doesn't that like most of the time they don't place any judgment. I don't know what's going on. It's a lot with this nine of wands though, y'all. Okay. Yep. That's why. It's that masculine energy. It's the masculine energy who you distance yourself from, right? With this three of wands. That yes, this feeling the separation. Okay, three of swords here may have betrayed you. Okay, I'm hearing it's, it's catching up to them. Their ways are catching up to them, and now you're you're not saying much. You, I'm hearing you're not saying anything. In the six of cups, somebody. Hooey, they're feeling like. This is over, but at the same time, they want to reconcile, like they want to renew and restore whatever it was. But I feel like y'all are like off the map, off the grid, or something here. Okay, what's going on here with this Three of Wands? You could be at a distance and this Three of Swords, because, yep, oop, yeah, you know the truth. And something's being revealed here. You you began to distance yourself as soon as you became clear as to why this person was oh okay inconsistent or um, dismissive. Something about their communication that I'm hearing pushed you away. Okay, with this three of swords here. Why is the six of cups? Because mm -mm. one more. Yep, as soon as I said, mm -mm, look, you, you already know, Divine Feminine. Yep. So, for some of you, it's not that this person wants to come and reconcile. Like, wow, they may have some resentment towards you because you see right through their ways, this third-party energy. 
whatever they may have. Oh, I'm just now noticing. Yep, okay. I didn't see this King of Wands. Okay, I was going to say, you're seeing that this person may have went back to somebody from their past. Um, this could be, you know, some type of friendship or something that they had going on with somebody else that they weren't honest about, okay? But it was sexual. And now this person got the nerve to be mad because you're pulling back your energy and receiving attention, okay? That's what the sun card is for some of you. And now they mad at themselves. They need to be mad at themselves, okay? Look, yeah, see, Queen of Wands, wow. They met their match. They met their match here. I told you about that rebounding energy, right? And this person does not like to see you getting this type of attention. What advice do you have for Divine Feminine? Look, yeah, don't pay, don't pay no mind. This person did a hot mess. They're dissatisfied. They're in this four cups energy because everything that they've invested in is hitting the fan. And now that you're removing yourself, you this person can't access you and you're moving on and you're receiving this attention, you're happy, right? Like this is really bothering somebody. This is a consistent message for the collective. So yeah, make sure y'all protecting yourselves these next few weeks and going forward, okay? Cause this Mercury retrograde, yeah, see it's starting early for some people. All right, what do you want Divine Feminine to be aware of when it comes to this Five of Wands? Look, yeah, look, you can't make this up. Beware of your reactions. Beware of people trying to get a reaction out of you. This is you seeing whatever this, all of this is for what it is. You like, you tell your lying like, um, you know what, this, this don't got nothing to do with us. It just don't got nothing to do with us. Okay. Because why? You're not entertaining. Oh, so it could be some external energy. Wow. Okay, so third party, fourth, fifth party. Because this person may have been trying to deal with a lot of people or place you in competition with a whole bunch of people. And now I'm picking up on other feminine energy, karmic energy trying to come in and address you or compete or i don't know like you may even see them um into it amongst themselves something's gonna come to light here something's gonna be revealed and while you were in this energy of not knowing exactly your intuition is warning you for a reason that's why you've been in this energy of not accepting this in and out behavior you're not accepting that that's why somebody's mad because they may have been trying to make you jealous meanwhile they can't even they can't even access you so now they stuck here with all these other parties and factors that they've been trying to use and they got too much going on they got too much going on and that's why your intuition has told you focus on you it's gonna come to light What's been happening in the, in the dark, this, the reason this person has been distant, you know, this communi communication has been hasty or in and out, it's all going to come to light. And the fact that y'all are not entertaining this person, but these people are, that's why, yeah, that's why Spirit said, hold your horses, hold your lion, all right, hold your lion, honey. <laughs> What's the advice? Yeah. You can't make this up. This is a reason. You cannot make this up, y'all. This force always keep coming out. Just like the three of wands. You see what the Holy Spirit wants you to have. This peace of mind. This separation was necessary. This decision, excellent. Excellent choice. All right? Someone is coming in dissatisfied. Maybe even trying to, you know, play a pity party and all this other type of stuff. And they're still not interested in all these other people they've been investing in. Yeah, it's more than one other party is what I'm picking up for some people. All right? This person just been, wow, I heard unprotected too. All right? Because it's a lot coming to light. But I keep hearing, you're, you're being isolated. You're being protected. Your intuition is warning you in advance. Okay? So that you can go ahead and be in this energy while all of this other energy hit the fan. All right, so that's the reading, y'all. Let's go ahead and pull a soul journey, then a divine feminine, okay? Worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome, and I see y'all moving forward with no worries. 
So somebody could be trying to bring some information to you, you know, to get you off your your pedestal and have you out of character. You're like, your worry ain't gonna change the outcome. Shoot, again, this is not your problem. That's what y'all saying. What in the world? Let's see. What's the divine feminine message for the divine feminine collective? Holy Spirit, holy angels. What is the divine feminine message? I love this card, y'all. The joy permeated mother. I am my own guru. I know the self that never changes. Okay? I am peace. When my mind is clear, the way is clear. Your mind was clear when you decided to listen to your intuition and not allow this energy to come in and out of your life. You, you begin to see something for what it is or something's being revealed to you in due time here as you distance yourself, as, as you protect your energy and your mental space. That's a common message, y'all. All right? The way is clear. It's really starting to show through people's actions and these tables turning what people have been investing their time and energy in because if you got all these other feminine energies fighting and competing you know clearly they weren't listening to their intuition you know they were deciding to you know allow this knight of wands to come in upright and maybe not you know okay there's, so there's something around self-respect and integrity right the fact do you have the courage Right? Do you have the courage to deny whatever cup this person may be offering to so many other people? You're like, you know what? I don't need that cup that's just going to have me in the same position and not moving forward. Like, no. Yeah, yeah, this is some energy around you can do bad all by yourself. Okay, look, the goddess of devotion. I am a love that doesn't leave. When I commit to love, my soul evolves. Right? Y'all are committing to loving yourself. And entertaining this, yeah, the little energy, some type, something around expression. I'm telling you, the sun, something's about to be, it's everything about to hit the fan. And you're going to be glad you followed your intuition. And you didn't pay something on mine. Okay? A lot is about to hit the fan. So that's the reading, y'all. I love y'all. Thank you for the support. Please take care of yourselves. Protect your energy. Okay? Bye.